Hello and welcome to lesson 59 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and VBA with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In lesson 58, we dealt with how to insert the various formulas into the various columns of the official admission receipt, the formulas that can help us to fetch the details of each student from the student detail sheet. This formula can help us to fetch the admission details of each student in our system onto this particular official admission receipt for printing. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to insert the formulas that can help us activate the print receipt button here. So please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching this video. Share this video with your friends and family members to also benefit from us. Make sure that you watch our other videos on how to create a school management system. We have a video on this channel from lesson one up to this lesson on how to create a school management system. Please make sure that you trace those videos and watch them one after the other. So without wasting much time, let's just get started. So before we can insert the formulas that can help us to activate this button, before we can insert the macros that can help us to activate this particular button, uh, we need to go to developer tab. But before we come to this one, let's first work on the fees payment receipt. Then we come to developer tab here. After locating the fees payment receipt, you come to the developer tab here. Click on developer like this. Then you come to visual basic. Good. So when you come to the visual basic here, you click on insert. We are going to insert a model. So insert a model. So let's begin to insert our formula that can help us to activate that particular button. So sub then print macro. The name of the macro is going to be print macro. So let's name it as such print macro. Then you open and close this bracket. Then you hit enter. Good. So in between these two subs, in between the two subs here, we are going to insert our code there. So active sheet. So active sheet here like this dot print out active sheet dot print out that is the formula that we are going to use for this particular model so print preview print preview so preview like this then you bring your column you insert your equal to sign then through okay so active sheet dot print out preview equal to true so what this simply means is that the sheet that is active where the print preview button is that that particular button should be able to print out that particular sheet so the print out button is located on the official fees payment receipt so automatically the printout button is going to help you to print that particular receipt there because it is the receipt that is active there. The receipt section is the active cell or the active sheet. The receipt section is the active sheet where the button is located. So active sheet dot print preview or print out equals true. So let's just hit enter like that. So I think we are good to go. Then you save this particular formula, click on OK, then close this particular section. So let's come to the print receipt, you right click on it. Then let's come to assign macro, assign macro. The name that we gave to that particular formula or that particular model is print macro. So select the print macro here and click on OK. So immediately we click on print receipt, we should be able to see a preview of this particular official fees payment receipt. So let's click on print receipt and let's see what is going to happen. Please have you seen it? Have you seen that the receipt is 
appearing here this is a preview of the receipt so we can print this receipt into pdf we can print this particular receipt into pdf so this is a preview of the official fees payment receipt so this is how you insert the formula to activate the print preview button on the official fees payment receipt so this is the official fees payment receipt a preview of the official fees payment receipt so if you want to continue you only click on print here then you see that that particular receipt will be printed so let's just name it like this rest into pdf so it will be printed okay so printing in progress so let's come to file explorer we can get it there but because we don't want this video to be long we would like to end it here and continue in lesson 60 so thank you very much let's meet in lesson 60 bye bye